So this week we are up at Grisdale Forest and we're driving the, the lane known as the Fox. So this is a fairly basic lane, there's a nice short uh, climb up from the visitor centre at the bottom on that particular section that we're driving now. You've got to be careful as you'll see in a minute, there's people walking, there's mountain bikes coming down, just take care when you're on that section. So as you will have seen at the beginning of that video, there's quite a, a sharp, steep, rocky section coming up later on in the lane, and um, we'll get to that in a minute. This lane, in a, in a very similar way as Bastard Lane, this lane's actually got a one-way system on it, so the idea being that when you take this lane on, you go from the Grisdale Visitor Centre end and you head from west over to the east. Now the reasoning behind that again is because you've got a lot of people walking, you've got mountain bikes everywhere and if you were to come across another group, there aren't really that many places where you could get two groups past each other. This lane is sat roughly halfway between Coniston and Windermere, up in the south end of the Lake District. It's fairly easy to get to, and it's definitely worth a travel up. So the lane is roughly split in half, uh, this first climb up being the first half. There's a short section of forest fire track and from there there's a sculpture of a fox up in the woods and you take on the, the second half which is where the rock step is.
green lane does actually get closed quite regularly um, due to either forestry work or tree falls when there's a, a storm comes through. Um, this particular section now, as you'll see slightly further on, um, was pretty badly affected by the last storms. Large tree trunks across the track, but they cleared it, I think it was roughly about two weeks. So it'd be a good point to check on the likes of Trailwise or on the um, Lake District National Park or Cumbria Council uh, websites to make sure that there's no, no closures on the tracks at the time. During peak times, this lane can get pretty busy, as you'll see shortly. It's one of the more popular routes up in the area, um, and for good reason too. But uh, just give people a bit of space. We caught up to the back of a group that were uh, taking the time, and I think there was two other groups that were down at the, the main rock step when we got there. Swamps on Everest. Spot 
Yeah. So as I said before, the lane is a one way. As you can see, I turned around and went back up the rock face. Um, so if you fancy a bit of a challenge, feel free to get to that point, spin around and and try and take it on going uphill. I've seen a lot of cars struggling up there, some not making it and some. So it is a bit of a challenge to get up it. Um, but yeah, just try and stick to the general direction of the track being west to east. But like I said, if you want to spin around and take on the rock step, feel free. Having said that, if the track is wet, you, there's a good chance you won't actually make it up it. It's pretty, pretty slippy when it gets wet. And uh, the angles involved being a bit cross axled yeah, it's just a bit of a challenge, so best of luck to you if you're doing it in the wet. Just try and make sure you've got um, a spotter with you, or at least one other vehicle with a winch on, in case things do go wrong. So we're approaching the end of the track now. From here, we went and did the Windermere car ferry, took that across, uh, drove over to Kendall, and drove Brest High Road, because that's being shut actually at the start of May. So we wanted to get that in quick before uh, before it gets shut for repair works. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with this little uh, time lapse of the Windermere car ferry. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more sort of stuff from this, um, full length lanes across the Lake District, North Wales, wherever else I go. And if you want to see more from the disco in general, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and stick around for more. I'll see you on the next one.